What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can install different themes for Plasma KDE, whether you're using Arch, Endeavor OS, or some other kind of Linux distro that uses Plasma. There's a few different ways of doing it, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to install this theme here. It's pretty much the same for all different themes. I'll just be using Andromeda Plasma. Doesn't really matter though. If you're using the KDE.org store, there's a few different ways. First of all, we can download it and install it manually, or we can use an automated tool like Pling Store or OCS URL. In this case, Pling Store doesn't seem to exist anymore, but OCS URL is alive and kicking. Obviously, we can't use the install command to install it with itself, so we'll need to manually install it if this is the method that you want to use. To install it, you'll be opening up a terminal and you'll be running a few commands. Your package manager of choice, so if you're using apt, you'll use apt install, things like that. In my case, I'm using Endeavor OS, so I can use yay, otherwise it'll be Pac-Man or something similar. The installation steps for different distributions and types of Linux are plenty. So I'll be using yay hyphen OCS URL, and it'll search the Arch user repository to find the installer. For me, it's number one, I'll hit enter, and it'll go ahead and build that install. It's a super simple install process, though of course finding your install command is probably going to be the most difficult part of this process if you choose to use something automated like this. Once it's installed, we can simply head back to our theme and use the install button, followed by clicking the zip, and it should pop up like this. I'll click OK, and shortly after, the theme will then be installed. I can click Open, and it opens my desktop theme folder with the Andromeda theme inside of it. It's that simple. From here, we'll need to activate it. There's two main ways of doing this. The first and easiest is using your built-in theme picker. In my case, it's in Settings, followed by Appearance, and in this case, Plasma Style, though it may be a global theme you just installed. In here, I can choose my new theme and apply, then hitting start or whatever button, you can see our new theme in here. There is an alternate way of doing this, and that is simply in your settings window, appearance, theme, you can click get new plasma styles here if this is available on your system. Then we can simply type in the name in the top right, so in my case, Andromeda, hit enter to search, and it's probably going to pop up on this page here. There may even be different kinds. Simply choosing install, it'll download and set up on your system. That's it. If, for some reason, you choose to manually install it, what you'll do is you'll download it as such, and in our downloads, we can either open it up and extract this folder to our desktop theme folder just by dragging it, or we can use a command. Obviously, the commands will be different depending on what kind of file you downloaded, whether it's a zip, tarxz, targz, etc. There's tons of different commands to run, but essentially, you'll be unzipping or extracting whatever you downloaded into tilde slash dot local share plasma desktop theme. That's it. Once you've done so, the name of the folder is the name of the theme. You can adjust it as necessary. Then to actually select it, if you don't have a settings menu, you can do it via the command line. So I'll open up a new terminal, and in here we'll run nano tilde slash dot config slash plasma rc. Hit enter, and this will open up our plasma configuration. In here, next to theme name equals, you'll be entering the name here. It should match the name of the folder over here. Simply save with control S, control X to close, and the new theme should be activated. If it's not, you'll need to restart plasma using system CTL hyphen hyphen user restart plasma hyphen plasma shell hit enter and plasma will then restart with your new theme loaded that's it hopefully you found this video useful thank you all for watching my name's been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao